in this section we will discuss about TDS in tally so what is uh, TDS tax deducted at source what does it mean so any income which is earned from commission or brokerage or from rent is subjected to TDS so what it means is that whenever a business is required to make payment towards such expense it will deduct the tax then and there and pay it to the government and the incomes like commission brokerage or rent of land or building these are some uh, common examples where tds is applicable there are other incomes as well on which tds is applicable but for the sake of simplicity and in order to understand the concept i have just uh, mentioned few of the incomes and the objective to deduct tax at source at source means at the time of payment is that the government gets its revenue faster so that is the main motive behind uh, tds and i am going to keep the discussion on tds to be short because tds in itself is vast subject and not every aspect of tds can be covered in this course now let's discuss some examples on tds transactions and once we complete those transactions it would be clear as to what tds is and why do we require to deduct tds have a look at your screen so in this transaction this company alpha sales incurs commission expense of rupees 110000 for availing service from a business consultancy and for commission we deduct tds at 5% so we are required to pay 5500 from the total payment amount to the government and pay the remaining balance of 104500 to the consultancy so how do we record this entry in tally now in order to work with tds we are required to enable tds in company and in order to do that press the f11 key select the option statutory and taxation and over here we have an option called enable tax deducted at source so you need to press letter y and press the enter key and for the option set or alter tds details press the letter y and press the enter key and you are required to fill up the deductor details and i'm going to fill the details as follows so i have filled it with some imaginary tan registration number and tax deduction and collection account number and i will press control a after filling up all these details and press control a again to save the settings so with this we have enabled tds in tally and as far as the transaction is concerned the payment is related to commission where tds would be applicable and in order to mark any payment towards commission uh, to be applicable for tds we need to uh, define the nature of payment for commission and in order to do that you need to select the option accounts info and select the option statutory info and select the option tds nature of payments and select create now in the name field we can type the name of the payment on which tds would be applicable so you can type anything like commission payment and so on otherwise you can press control c where we can access some predefined names so let me press control c and the nature of payment would be displayed so from the list of nature of payment just type and search commission or brokerage so it is listed over here so you need to navigate over it and select it and leave the section and payment code to the default values and specify the rate of tds at 5% and define its threshold or exemption limit so if the commission is something up to 15000 rupees then we are not required to deduct tds so we need to define that threshold limit over here and save the nature of payment creation now in order to make payment towards commission we are required to define its ledger so i will select the option ledger over here and select the option create and i will create a ledger for commission expense under indirect expenses 
and TDS is applicable on this ledger so I'll select the option applicable over here and specify the nature of payment which is commission or brokerage which we just created and press ctrl A to save this ledger creation I am also required to create the ledger for business consultancy from where I received the services and suppliers are creditors so select the option sundry creditors over here and let me just select not applicable for price list and over here in the field is TDS deductible change this option to yes by pressing the letter Y and pressing the enter key and select the deductee type as company resident and leave the option deduct TDS in same voucher to yes and for the remaining field I will skip these fields and we are required to specify the PAN number and if you don't specify the PAN number TDS at 20% would be deducted so let me just specify any PAN number and after entering all the required details press ctrl A to save this ledger creation for the consultancy form and we are also required to make TDS tax payment to the government so we are required to create its ledger as well so let me create a ledger as TDS on commission under duties and taxes specify the type of tax as TDS select the nature of payment as commission or brokerage and press ctrl A and save this ledger creation so we are done with the setup part for the entry now we will proceed with recording the entry so let's just go back to gateway of tally select the option accounting vouchers now press the F7 key to access journal voucher over here we need to debit the commission expense because we debit expenses and the commission expense is for rupees 1 lakh 10 thousand rupees and press the enter key and credit the business consultancy firm for rupees 1 lakh 4500 now as soon as you press the enter key the bill wise detail screen would show up so just select the required information and we also need to credit TDS on commission for rupees 5500 and save the entry now we are not done yet we are required to make payment to the business consultancy firm for its services so I will make payment to the consultancy firm for rupees 1,4500 against the given reference and let me just save this entry and we are also required to make a TDS tax payment to the government and in order to do that you need to press alt s to select statutory payment select the type of duty as TDS for the month of April towards commission of brokerage and select the payment method whether cash or bank and press ctrl A to save this entry as well and when you print this payment voucher it will generate the TDS chalan so let's just preview this chalan so this is how a TDS tax chalan would look like at the time of payment so let me just zoom in so that was all about TDS and with this section I am concluding the course as well I hope you really had a good time learning tally with me and I am also going to attach few notes related to tally security and backup and restore capabilities I want you to check those PDF notes so all the best for all your future endeavors and by concluding it doesn't mean that I won't be available 
if you have any doubts you can post it on udemy and i would be there to assist you with all your doubts thank you